I really don't. Just paint it whatever you want. It's your apartment. Yeah, but this is your room, you know? You should choose it. It's not mine, though. It's... Yeah. Uh... Bye. Hey, thanks for coming with me. I know it's not really your thing, and I really appreciate the company. I promised myself I'd try new things. Or old things, I guess. You couldn't have picked you know, costumes from this century? Well, you know, you stay here, I will be right back. Yeah, like I'm really gonna let you just climb through the gates of hell by yourself. Have you ever seen a horror movie? Fine. We should invite her to go out with us. Yeah, right after we warn her, she's being creeped by a stalker. <sighs> Lucky me. What are you doing here? Making things right. All right. Good work today, everyone. On the issues. They found a body this morning. It was your friend, Becca. What? No. I'm sorry. No, no, no. No, it, it can't be her. It wasn't Becca. I'll call her. I'm sorry. It definitely was her. And someone she was scared of. No. Okay, any idea where she was? You go on clip talk and just swipe until you find someone to hook up with. And if you're lucky, you might get a warm shower and a meal when it's all over. Okay, if she was still doing that, we need to leave. Tomorrow, hey, uh, it's okay. There's no judgment here. Um, are you okay here? Yeah. Yeah. You okay. got I can't make you something. I'm not really hungry. Thank you. For everything. For all your help. For this bed. For getting justice, Rebecca. You did that. And thanks for helping me leave it all behind. Because if it weren't for you, I probably would have ended up like Becca eventually. You don't have to worry about that anymore. You're safe. Do you want to talk about what you went through when you were living on the street? Uh, not now. That's okay. Yeah, you don't have to talk about it now. You don't have to talk about it with me. You know, but at some point, you might want to talk to someone before it sneaks up on you. I will. I promise. Close, please. Sweet dreams. <laughs> Isn't she pretty? Mm. My first car. I, my car was your first car. I mean, if we're including cars I've stolen, this is probably like my fifth. <laughs> Joke. I am not getting my new car back, am I? <laughs> what the what? Somebody's inside. 10851 Wilshire Norman Station. Stop right there. Put your hands on top of your head. Fingers interlaced. You are under arrest for auto theft. No, you don't understand. I didn't steal the car. The guy who owns it lent it to me, but he lost the keys. I'm the guy who owns the car. What did you expect? Yeah, well, it doesn't lock. It does now. Wait, are you living in here? How old are you? 17. Where are your parents? Dead. Needles, knives? No. How long have you been living on the street? Hey, you're careful with that. Oh. Sorry. Must be hard living like this. What do you care? Uh, I I'm not gonna press charges. We'll get you set up over at a children's shelter, all right? Oh, uh, you don't have to. I got some place else I can go. Does it have doors that lock and people that care about you? Huh? It's too far from school. You still go to school? Yeah, I do. And I get good grades. Any more dumb questions? Look, I don't want to make getting to school hard for you, but I don't have a choice here. So it's either jail or the shelter. But I won't just dump you there, OK? I'll, I'll help you find a permanent place. Congratulations. 
How did you find me? Well, I checked all the local high schools to see where you were registered, and they told me that you're usually hanging out at the library until closing time. I know, but living on the street isn't any better. You know, you deserve more. There isn't more. There's just this. You don't believe that. Otherwise, you would have given up, dropped out. I think you believe that there's something better out there. You just need someone to help you find it. Okay, so, look, um, I'm gonna give you my car. What? Just until you get back on your feet. You know, I know it doesn't run great, but it took me to college. It saw me through three really bad relationships, and it kept me sane after, well, after I almost died. You gotta let social services help you find a place to live. One that I'll make sure is safe, and you have to keep checking in with me regularly until that happens so I know you're okay. Like once a week? Like once a day. It's a free car. That barely runs. Once a day until you're off the street or no deal. Thanks. <laughs> Hey, I need you to sign this. It's Mara. Good morning. Good morning. Can you sign the title of the car? Cops keep eyeballing it, and they're not going to believe you get. We need to find you a real place to live. I'll be there. I promise. Mm. Oh, hey, I was a psychology major. Cool, but it's just a class that I have to take. Well, you might want to pay a little extra attention to it. I found that it really helped me understand what motivates people. So does living on the street. Fair enough. The car is officially yours. Drive safe. Thanks. You're welcome. Can you page Officer Shen? Tomorrow. Hey. Hi. Look, I don't trust people who are nice to me. Yeah, I get it. Look, predators are everywhere, especially on the street. Trust is something that needs to be earned, not bought, so... How can I earn trust with you? Well, according to my psychology textbook, there are seven different ways to build trust in a relationship. Mm-hmm. And if memory serves, I believe they boil down to doing what you say you're going to. Exactly. Uh, I used to do all my schoolwork at the one at the library, but it's like 100 years old. And your cousin's is not a safe place? It's safe adjacent. I mean, I won't get attacked while I'm asleep, but this will get pawned in five seconds. You can pick this up here every morning before school. Thanks. Yeah. Hey, have you ever been to the SCLA campus? I was there today, and it is beautiful. You should check it out. Yeah, right. I can't afford that. They have scholarships. I can help you apply for one. I don't know. Maybe. Well, why don't you grab your stuff, and we could talk about it over dinner. And then after that, I could drop you at your cousin's house and see if safe adjacent is safe enough. Hey, I'm so sorry. It's cool. No, it's not. Drinks turned into this undercover thing, which was super cool, but not the point. Look, there's no excuse for me leaving you hanging. Can you do the interview now or tonight? When does your paper due? It's fine. The drunk lady across the hall used to be a luchadora. I'll just ask her. What? Mexican wrestler. No, no. Look, give me another chance. Okay, tonight. I promise I'll be there. Okay, sure. Peppers! Yes! As if our bodies are the only thing we have. Yeah. <laughs>